Hey, hi, hello. You all are gonna just hate this audio because my air conditioning is going because I just don't feel like getting up and turning it off. So, one day at some point in the not so distant past, I was mindlessly scrolling through the YouTubes, spelled with a Z, of course, when I had a sudden nostalgia attack. Re something. Whatever happened to that one cute, chibi, furry person that was like, Ray, was it just re? Now, the first thing you're going to see off to the side here is my memory of Ray's chibi fursona. I discovered this YouTuber in like my junior year of high school, and they popped up on my timeline after a classmate shared their furry speed paint YouTube channel, and I checked them out. They were mad good, by the way, but also very pretentious, so there's that. I honestly don't even remember which video it was that I found first. Just that I fell in love with their simple, cute, chibi style and the funny sound bites they used. At the time, I thought they were super unique. This is probably because at the time my subscription feed had like Tabuscus, Smarsh. Smarsh? I meant Smosh. <laughs> so Tabuscus, Smosh. RT animations, Dan is not on fire, and also as I type this, I'm realizing that I'm a whole ass idiot because this was before 2012, so a fucking course, the algorithm probably just worked different. Duh. Point is, I thought they were ooh special. That means when I was hit by this nostalgia bolt, I naively assumed I would just have to scroll a bit if I put in Best Burrito Ever song, which was my favorite video at the time, and I will be linking that. And after doing that, voila! Return back to high school when death was a distant concept and I didn't have to worry about my damn lungs failing on me every day. Awesome. But uh, that's not what happened? No, 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 no. What happened was, I realized that, hey, this was not a single YouTuber doing this video, but it was, in fact, an entire subgenre at the time in the Fury furry community. Basically, they were doing animation memes. Like, that was what the furry community was doing before animation memes really blew up like they have been, you know what I mean? So my favorite video? Literally dozens of people did one just like it. <laughs> Ray's wasn't even the top result. But I am a stubborn person about stupid things. And uh, also, my brain is dumb and latches onto nostalgia like a damn addict. Like, as soon as I think, Oh, hey, remember this thing? It's like, we need that thing. Now. I must have that, or we'll die. Get the thing. So now I'm sitting here, going through damn near every furry username in the main video that popped up for this genre, because of course 60% had names that are Ray something and ha or had icons that looked vaguely similar to the character. Did I mention that this was at 10 p.m. the night before an iron infusion appointment? Because it was. Yeah, I was real smart about this. Like, even as I was doing this, I was like, I should sleep. I have to get up in the morning, really early, to get my infusion. Because my, my body can't produce iron, apparently. I was thinking that, and I was still just like, gotta find. What anyone going through a mysterious health crisis should do is put their phone down and leave it for the morning, like, say, when they're going to be stuck in a chair, having minerals pumped into their system for two hours. That would be logical. But no. My brain shot up my heart rate with a dose of nope at the thought of going through the efficient route. So instead, I spent an hour muttering to myself about how, when, why, and all that is holy did I unsubscribe! And then I found it. Reyna! Dear, sweet, adorable Reyna with her spotted fur and mis mismatched eyes and who hadn't uploaded in four years. Well, that explains the unsubscribe. Did that stop me from resubscribing? Hell no. This is bound to happen again, just you watch. Anyway, I just wanted to share this because I felt super accomplished in finding the thing. Normally what ends up happening is I just... Goodness, my voice. Normally what ends up happening is just... I suffer for at least three weeks, obsessing over the thing that can't be found, and getting anxiety over it. So this, this was a win. Go me. 
And also, yes, this art redraws the edgy, angsty fursona I, a non-furry, created as a fan of Draina. It was a whole thing, and probably should have clued me in that I was in for a wild ride on the Depression Express, but yeah, you can have this. It, it's fun. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a good day, and don't be a dick.